Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to reset 2FA on Coin without mobile. What's 2FA? That's two factor, you know, two factor authenticator of Coin. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Coin web application, your account. Okay, so if you don't have an account on KuCoin, pretty much simple. Launch in the browser of your choice, look at the search bar, which is usually at the top corner of your screen. In there, type KuCoin.com and then it's going to take you to the official website. At the top right corner, you're going to find sign up button in the website. Click on that, follow the on-screen prompt to create your account. And once you're done creating your account, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a lot of features to have an exciting time on KuCoin. So now that we're here, let's hop into today's steps, which is how to reset 2FA on KuCoin without mobile. So apparently this is not mobile, this is web. And let's see how we can get that fixed. Top corner, you're going to see a few subheadings or headings and subheadings. And so head over to your account. This is my account itself. You're going to see a drop down menu. So go ahead and click on account security. So it opens you up to the security page. So the security page is opening up and then we're going to know what to do next. So now that we're here, this is the 2FA, right? And let's see what the 2FA includes. All right. It says choose Google verification plus email plus trading password or mobile phone plus trading password to ensure safety of your assets. So this is what the 12A um, includes, all right? Email, phone number, email verification, phone number, and um, Google verification. All right, so if you want to reset your 12A and KuCoin without mobile, so something that doesn't um, allow you or doesn't require you to keep on using your mobile, you know, for you to like better sending codes to your mobile phone to secure your phone and all the stuff. We see that Google verification is a replacement for that and Google verification actually is still uh, under 2FA. So um if you want have if you want to um, completely get rid of the mobile stuff and just verify this account using this 2FA, this is what you would choose this option. Google verification plus email plus trading password. So as you can see, our email has already been set, has already been banged. So I have added my email and that's been verified. So if it has not been verified, you're going to see this um, button called bind somewhere here. Right, so just click on bind and follow through the process, which is self-explanatory. And then say the next step is um, Google verification, which is what you're going to do here. I've not bound this yet so i'm going to show you and then the last one is trading password and where's the trading password is the trading password so let's use a verified transaction and this and that so if you've not added a trading password you're going to see an option for you to add that so click on that and follow through with the process trading password is not difficult to add so follow through the process and that'll be it so now that that has been added the next is um google verification all right, so go ahead and click on bind. And once you click on bind, you're going to see the next steps, all right, which are self-explanatory, but there's a particular part that you need to know that would require your mobile phone. So go ahead and click on send code. Once you send, click on send code, you're going to send a message to the, the code to the phone that you use, the phone number that you use to verify your account. So get that code and then copy it here, click on next, and it's going to take you to this a window where you're going to see something like this you can see something like this where you're going to see your code your google qr code and your google qr keys and then under it you can see google verification code so go ahead and record your secret key and then you need to scan this code and impute this Google verification code. And how do you do that? You're going to get that in the Google Authenticator application. So ensure that that is installed in your phone. So once you get that, open the app, the Authenticator application. And once you open the Authenticator application in your phone, 
in right in the home page click on the plus icon all right and then to add a new code you're going to see that there and then once you see that once you click on that you're going to see authenticator code all right then click on the scan barcode to open your camera and scan the code so this is where you're going to see the scan a barcode so scan the code right there on your system the code that you're going to see as you can see it's just roughened all right so go ahead and scan that code and then it will set up your google authenticator for kucoin and then it's just going to start like that so that's pretty much the process that's how to set up the um, google verification all right so remember the three steps all right and then once you have set that up and once you have bound your google verification or your google authenticator with kucoin you will see that you don't need to use your mobile phone again to reset your 2fa all right because all you just need is google verification email and your trading password so that's all so you can go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you search